First tonight, we are working developing news on a severe case of child abuse. A four-month-old baby is in the ICU tonight. His father is accused of putting him there. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau spoke exclusively to the child's mother. He joins us now live outside District Court with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. The most important point tonight is that child is in critical condition at Hasbro Children's Hospital. Pawtucket police say this happened over the weekend when the baby's mother asked the baby's father to babysit. John L. Marks before this weekend. Before I left to work, he was the happiest little baby. He was playing, he was taking his bottle. But after she left the infant with the boy's father, 18-year-old DeAnthony Allen, John L. had bruises on his face, broken ribs, and internal bleeding. Alan's great-grandmother was in court today. You know, I think it's best for me to keep my opinion to myself. Don't you think so? You might want to defend your great-grandson. He's being accused of a pretty horrible I crime. I know, th I know this. I know this. But eventually she told us she believes Alan's claims. He could have fell off the bed. A Not bruise on bed. the face, broken ribs, fall off the bed? I didn't know he had broken ribs. Broken ribs? I didn't know nothing about that. Do you think he still fell off the bed? If he said he fell off the bed, I believe him. You believe your son? Yeah, because I, I know he wouldn't hurt them kids. Regarding Alan's arrest last year for allegedly hitting the baby's mother. Stephanie brought everything on herself. She, she brought it on herself. What do you mean she brought it on herself? Stephanie always brings stuff on herself. So she deserved to be hit by your I son? I didn't say that. Charges aside, she's hoping John L. survives, right along with the rest of the little boy's family. As long as everybody else is strong, he's going to fight through, and that's my belief. As long as we're strong for him, he'll be strong. But, but again, that child in critical condition. Bond on the suspect set at $25,000 for one count of second-degree child abuse. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom in Providence, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.